pretty much know how, uh, how your starters did. That was a you know a really good first half. Talk about your depth and, and, and how how the guys coming in uh, off the bench did that game. Well, I was pleased with the second group. I think uh, we got more depth than we've had, um, especially in some places. And it's good to see when our backups get in there. You know, we still want them to be able to run the offense and get some reps doing that. So it's good to see them moving the ball. I think you, you know, we knew Byron Marshall was going to be good carrying the ball. Uh, I think a lot of us were surprised that he was so good receiving the ball too. Is that is that something you saw coming into that first game? Yeah, I think all three of our backs uh, have exceptional hands. Uh, him, Thomas, uh, Byron, Thomas, and Royce can all catch it. So you know, it gives us the ability to use them in different ways. The preparedness of the freshmen uh, in that game Saturday. I thought it went pretty well. Uh, we had a couple false starts, uh, a couple of stupid penalties, and and one stupid mistake with the football. Uh, and other than that, I thought it was pretty clean execution. That, that's going to matter a lot, a lot more this week. Anytime you, you play a team like this, you have to execute and you have to be precise or they're going to get you. Uh, so we got to make sure to not beat ourselves and, and try to keep the execution as hot as we can. How much do you really learn about your offense in a, in a game against an overmatched opponent? I thought South Dakota played pretty hard. I thought they played well. I think they'll have a good year. Uh, you know, this is definitely a different opponent coming in here. So I think both Michigan State and us got to kind of shake the rust off, but neither one of us got tested. So the big test is going to come next week. Do you sense any different feel in practice? Any extra edge with Michigan State coming in this week? You know, our guys really buy into the uh, – Focuses on focusing on the next opponent and you know taking them one game at a time and you don't really see uh, much difference in the effort or energy level anytime no matter who we're playing and, and that's the way we want it. Is there any one part of Michigan State's defense that is their strength the front or is it more of a team thing? I think it's just their team. I, I think Coach Narduzzi does an awesome job of, of getting them prepared. Uh, Everybody that plays them knows what they're going to run. Uh, they just run it really well. So uh, we got to be prepared for it and we got to execute. Anything like anything you see in the Pac-12? Uh, we have a lot more odd teams in the Pac-12 than other conferences. They're, they're a straight even quarters team. Um, they have adjustments to everything. They know what they're doing, and they play hard and fast, tackle well. Uh, like I said, you know, we just got to come off the ball and block them. We got to catch the balls. We got to not. We got to not turn it over and take care of it. And uh, it's going to be a battle. Can you use that against them, a team that likes to play fast, perhaps go with some misdirection, sort of stuff like that? Yeah, maybe, um, you know, but they've seen about everything, you know, and, uh, there's some good coordinators out there and, and people try to, to trick them and, and misdirection them and, and usually they have an adjustment for almost everything. So uh, they also do a really good job of if they get beat with something once, they're not going to get beat with it again. There's going to be an adjustment made. So uh, credit to them. They, they got a good defense and hopefully we're up for the challenge. How much do you look at film from last week and then the previous year? They've got a lot of different guys in spots. Yeah, we look at everything. I've watched every one of their games last year several times, and obviously last week's game. Uh, I'm sure they were a little like us that if there is anything new, they probably didn't want to show it. Uh, but you still see the, you know, what makes their defense good, and that's their athletic ability and the way they play. Freshmen seem like they came off the bench and contributed. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I think we have some really good young players. Uh, obviously, there's a handful playing right now, but. Uh, Charles Nelson obviously has a lot of talent, and that showed on that punt return. He's going to keep getting better. I think Royce Freeman showed what he can do. Uh, Tyrell Crosby did a great job at right tackle for us when he got a chance. So uh, those three young players, uh, along with several others, we're excited about going forward. How would you assess the play of the receivers? I thought the receivers handled it well. Now it, it's going to be a whole, whole different beast this week with the corners that they're going to play us with. Uh, they're going to press, cover us outside. Uh, on both sides the whole game. So it's going to be a, a lot bigger challenge this week for them. Receivers and, and yourself have talked about physicality being a big thing on the edge. Is that this sort of a game where that comes to fruition, where they're going to have to you know, put that up and help play? Yeah, we always want our receivers to be physical. I thought they did a really good job of that Saturday. Uh, these guys are going to be bigger and stronger. Um, and again, they're going to press us outside at the number one spot on both sides all day. So uh, that's just going to be whether or not we can get open, and they're going to, you know, run with us if we if we run them vertical. Uh, but the inside receivers are going to have to do a great job blocking safeties and linebackers.